Hey everyone and welcome back to the last day of the 31 days of Halloween. And I am so, so sad that it's to an end and I cannot believe that I actually did 31 videos in a row of makeup every day and different looks and going outside the box and thinking of different ideas to come up for you guys and taking you step by step and I honestly cannot believe that I did this and I am so proud of myself and just for the simple fact because I am a mom of two girls, you all know that, and I'm super, super busy with life, but I'm able to sit down, take time out of my day and do what I love and I love creating myself into different characters and it was so much fun. My skin is probably hating me right now, but I've been using good moisturizers and all that and just to let you guys know, I've been using like good makeup removers like I've been using Clinique Take the Day Off Balm which I found really like extremely helped super well after when I was done a look I would go in and wash everything off and that would also like kind of make your skin nice and smooth and then of course I'd be going in afterwards with moisturizers like my Too Cool for School Egg Mellow Moisturizer or even a little Neige Moisturizer and I would be just packing that on my face every single day and not wearing any regular makeup. And so, you know, one thing about doing all these looks and doing certain extreme looks and painting like my whole like face and my neck and my shoulders and everything is that afterwards you really, really gotta take care of your skin because if you don't, it could get into a real bad situation really quick. But all in all, I had so much fun doing this. And a lot of you have been asking me here on YouTube and even over on my Instagram, like private messaging me, how does my mind work? How do I kind of go with some ideas and just constantly think of what I'm gonna do next? Well, I actually sit down and every video that you guys watched is a first run only. If you guys remember back in my little chit chat video that I was telling you guys that each of my Halloween looks, I sit down in front of the camera, one shot, and that's it. Because I feel like if I do it a second time, then that's kind of wasting product. And then if it doesn't come out the way I liked it when I did it the first time, then it's no good to me. So everything, I just sat down and I just kind of let my mind go and my hand go. And I just go ahead and do it. And also, I would sit down with certain looks, I would sit down and I would have my sketchbook in front of me so then I know where to place certain items too on my face. Now with the um, Starry Night video, I actually was looking at my phone of a little picture for that because you know, that's something that's really hard to replicate. So I did it the best that I could in my own way that I wanted to. And also with the two tigers, um, that was an actual picture on my phone that I had to Google. So I was looking at two different tigers um, each time when I was creating that look. And then some looks, you know, were really easy because I wanted to make it easy for everyone. And in reality, anyone could really do Halloween makeup, do any look you want to. Just let your creativity flow and just go with it. Don't ever say, I can't do this and I can't do that because really you can. If you put your mind to it, you could do anything that you want to in this world and that's the most amazing part about it. And you know, in some looks, some looks were happening so fast in my mind that I didn't even have time to actually sketch it out in my book. I would actually have to come down. It was, it didn't matter if it was like four in the morning, two in the morning or like 12 at night. If my mind is rambling on a look, I would actually have to go down and sit down here and start it right away. And that was like my monster under my bed. That's what I envisioned and my mind was just going with it and I was like, okay, let's do this. And I actually sat down, do you believe it was like four o'clock in the morning that I got up to do that look? And um, yeah, so I just let my mind kind of go with the flow and just, you know, just go with it. And I had so, so much fun. 
and just let you guys know that um, I appreciate each and every one of you that came out to see me at Halloween Alley when I was doing all the uh, face painting. I had so much fun with that. So much so they were so impressed with my service and how helpful I was that now they got me on as their head makeup artist of Halloween Alley. So here in St. John's, so I was really, really happy. So I will be back there next October and October after that and so on and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I realized that, you know what, in the long run, if you work really hard at something, it does pay off. And I was just over the moon excited because truly, I love Halloween. And eventually, you know, I just want to do this all the time because I just have so much fun with it, you know. So I just appreciate each and every one of you for making the comments and just loving all the looks I came up with. So now, you know, it is October 31st, so happy Halloween. And I will end this off with a zombie look. So here is the final look. I really hope you love my kind of punk rock kind of neon zombie look that I got going on here. I'm really digging it. I love it. So happy Halloween. This is the last official look and wow, I can't believe it. I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> Let me know what you guys would like to see next October. Let your imagination run wild. Leave it all in the comments down below. And also let me know out of all the looks I've done, what was your favorite one? Or what one creeped you out the most? For me, there was quite a few of them that really creeped me out. Even though I knew it was me, I still creeped myself out. And of course, Starry Night was my all-time favorite. I will dedicate something every year for my sister. So next year I'm gonna do something even bigger for her and um, just put my heart and soul into it. And it really meant a lot to me to do that for her because she was such a big part of my life. And I'm happy that you guys got to see it and experience it, like that emotion in that video with me. And you know, I don't know what else to say, but I will be taking a week off. I need to give my face a break. So I will be back with all new videos, whole bunch of makeup reviews coming up. I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. And hey, Christmas is just around the corner. So that will be a Christmas giveaway coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys wanna connect with me, I will be over on Instagram, posting some pictures of makeup products. So I won't be totally gone from social media, but I just need to give my face a break and I need to relax. <laughs> So with all that being said, thank you guys so, so much. Happy Halloween. Now let's get into character. Maybe I'll eat some eyeballs. Yeah, I think that sounds good. <laughs> See you guys next time.